In this episode, we're going to take a Hot Wheels Fair Lady Z and turn it into a Gaslands killing machine. So here we have a Hot Wheels Fair Lady Z, which is based on the 24280Z uh, platform. And this started off as a, it was going to be a more of a painting tutorial. Uh, I'm using some Citadel paints and stuff that I had kind of played around with before. So I was really just going to do the body and not do a build. But uh, I tended to get a little carried away. So what I decided to do was... I got a couple other cars, a truck and a Jeep here that I was going to steal the wheels off of and use the front from the back of the Jeep and then the back tires from the truck. And then I've got a bunch of bits that I've got um, I've either collected or I've gotten sent to me through trades or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. And I wanted to, uh, to kind of put things together and really get a good, good feel for what it is that, you know, it, you can paint something, but when it's all put together, you get a different look and feel. And sometimes it changes the way you, you do things. So um, I start off by drilling it out. Um, most of these I usually glue back together, whereas my other um, customs I'll drill and tap and put screws in. Um, I decided to go that route with this just in case because I want to be able to take it apart at some point and change things. So um, it's a multi-step process. Start with a little bit, go to a bigger bit, and then go to one more size uh, to break the tip off the post. And... Um, for the most part, fairly easy process on this one. You just got to be careful on the front because of the depth of the post. Uh, you can't go too deep, otherwise you'll drill right through and drill into your hand. And trust me, I've done it. So, uh, plastic base, you got to be a little bit careful. Um, but it pretty much pops right off. The wheels are held on with little tabs. And pretty much you can use a screwdriver just to kind of pry away the two fingers on one side and then the third on the other. Uh, it's fairly simple. It's nothing nothing crazy. If you're not planning on saving them, you can just clip them with um, a pair of side cutters. I wanted to, well, at this point, I wasn't sure whether I was going to use the tires I discussed earlier or these. So I tended to uh, be a little bit more cautious and make sure I kind of preserved the axles. I didn't want to have to, uh, to remake what I didn't have to. So uh, right now I'm just taking them off and... Here's by this point I've kind of already changed my mind and I'm going at this point to the rear tires on the Jeep and even with those being mounted underneath the chassis to give myself the extra added height the uh, fender flares were in the way so what I'm doing here is just kind of marking off what I want to grind away uh, just uh, again this is a Gaslands car so nothing has to be perfect and, and everybody does their own thing and once it's painted, you can't really tell anyways. I just wanted the clearance. I just thought it would look a lot better. I'm sure I could have dropped the wheels down further. But here I'm just using my Dremel attachment with my barrel sander to just kind of grind away the areas that I had marked off in marker. Um, this took a little bit of time, just kind of going back and forth. Um, my OCD kind of kicked in, so I wanted to make sure both sides were, were symmetrical and you know, at the same time, keep fitting it to make sure I have clearance. Um, so I'm using the original tires on the front and those Jeep tires on the back. Um, I fit things a lot. I'm constantly putting things together and taking them apart. And here I'm looking at the motor. That's part of the kit that I got from Ken off the Gaslands page. And it's a really, really detailed motor, but I just didn't want to glue it on it. So I decided to cut out the, the hood. And I drilled a series of, I think, three holes. I think I only show one here because it's just a long, boring process. Then I kind of just filed it out. Um, I also had to file out a little bit of the base, uh, the plastic base that holds the interior. And just to give myself a little extra clearance, um, you can see that. So this, you know, that probably took about 20 minutes. It wasn't something that was quick, but um, considering it's all right, it goes fairly fast. So the other thing I want to do is I... I kind of hoard out the back window. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I cut out the back window, and I want because I want to use the windows as um, my armor. So I'm pretty much scuffing them up, and I cut out the back window so that I could have room to put my oil barrel. 
but the paint will adhere better to um, a scuffed up uh, window so I'm just kind of trimming here deciding how I want things to go together and obviously this is a time lapse um, I don't move that fast but it kind of gives me an idea and I put the motor in I'm still debating on where to put the, the machine gun at this point um, so I mark off the window and I kind of did the same thing I did with the with the hood I drill um, a couple holes in the plastic and then I just file it out I'm not trying to be neat uh, this is a gas lands car. Nothing is, nothing has to be perfect. Um, so after I, you know, I kind of trim a little bit, get the flash off from the drill, file a little bit, trim the flash, sand. You know, it's it's not an easy process, but it's certainly not hard in any way, shape, or form. And I had some multi-conductor wire I grabbed from work, um, so I'm using that as kind of a to go between the the machine gun and the window. So I'm just drilling a small two small pilot holes with my pin vise into my um, into the machine gun base and I'm also going to do it into the window and my goal is kind of just run the two wires um, almost like it's a remote control that would be operated from the passenger seat of the vehicle or even the driver's seat just to, um, to activate the trigger um, and kind of making shit up as I go because it's the gas lands and who cares <coughs> excuse me so you can kind of see right there what I'm trying to do and <clears throat> well, I'm losing my voice at this point I'm um, making a tombstone for the back I'm just taking a piece of flat plastic card and a piece of corrugated and I'm going to glue them together just to add a little bit of thickness to it um, this doesn't have to be square doesn't have to be perfect um, but it just adds a little bit of thickness so once I decide to <clears throat> glue the window in I've already got the back um, cleaned out and I've got the front marked out where I want it. I'm just taking my Dremel attachment with the wire brush and I'm just kind of scuffing it up really quick. Uh, I know I can strip it um, with the citrus strip but for this case I'm just going to prime it black anyways and it doesn't have to be perfect so I'm just taking the bulk of it off. Um, it worked perfectly. I didn't have to strip it so once that done just wipe it down with some mineral spirits make sure it's you know all the dust and residue is off from the those little needles <laughs> and there it is flat black. Um, I also flat blacked the motor and the base and the interior. I just went flat black with everything. It's, it's a good base. So uh, here I get some Citadel Scrag Brown. And I put it through my airbrush. And if you take distilled water, uh, it works really good. So I just dump a little bit in, three or four drops of distilled water, mix it up with a brush, and you get a really good consistency out of it. You can see I just sprayed on the white. So I just put really light coats on it. I didn't go crazy. Uh, the black took that brown and made it a lot deeper, which is exactly what I was looking for. So here's some, uh, uh, I think it's Balthazar gold. And I'm just kind of hitting the windows uh, to give it that steel look. And uh, I kind of went with layers on this. I also hit the motor. And what I'm going to end up doing is taking some uh, lead belcher and using a dry brush effect to hit the motor and hit the the windshield and the side glass again just more to give it that that uh, metal look so it just doesn't look like i painted plastic um i probably used a little too big of a brush i was in a hurry i just grabbed what i had down in the basement and it still works fine so I'm, the, the copper on the on the motor was pretty much almost all covered up but it gave it a nice base as opposed to just the black and the the silver cover is pretty decent but just trying to put silver on black you, you're not going to have a, a good luck with that so here i am hitting the front i'll also hit the sides and then what i'll do is i'll dry brush over the the edges of the vehicle like the the rear fin the um all the side flares where the headlights are, anything like that, where there there could be an edge that that gets worn a little bit more than the rest of the vehicle. It's kind of where I was, what I was going for. Um, you know, again, this is a trial and error, and and you can do things however you want. You know, that's what's great about Gaslands. You don't have to, or anything, even if it's just for fun, any kind of post-apocalyptic vehicle, you can just have fun with it. Who cares? It's your own version. You can make up your own story. Um, you know, uh, you can put your own mark on it, which is what I'm doing here. I'm drawing the anarchy symbol on the top uh, just for shits and grins. I, there was no real reason for it. I just thought it would look kind of cool. And in the end, it gave me a cool name to write in my video description <laughs> for the anarchy Z. So, um, 
here I'm taking some null 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 oil. I'll never be able to say that. And uh, put that directly into my airbrush. I don't have to mix it with water or anything like that. It's already very, very thin. And all I'm going to do is is hit the whole thing with with this just to give it a little bit more of a weathered look. And the oil will darken it up. It'll sit in all the recesses, especially on the motor. Um, I end up hitting it again with a brush later after I do a few more things to it. But it does help. And it just gives a little depth. And that's all I was really looking for. I wasn't going crazy with it, even though if you look at the video, it looks like I'm spraying the shit out of it. But I'm not. Um, it's just real thin. And it just kind of darkens things up a little bit. Again, sits in the recesses. So now it's just for detail stuff. I'm going to do the barrel. Uh, that's going to sit in the back of the um, rear window that I hogged out. Um, I think I put two coats of this, I don't know the name of it, yellow on. Um, I'm using the uh, Balthasar Gold again on the barrel for the gun. Really just small detail stuff. And then you take some lead belcher, and I'm just going to dry brush a little bit more on the <clears throat> rear tombstone, which I painted black, and the gun as well, just to kind of hit the edges so the steel would you know the look of steel will, will show through and just kind of give it that extra added effect so and again it's all in the details when you're dealing with scale you know 164 scale stuff um, every little detail stands out and even though it's something small and minute um, it, a lot of times it's those little details that when added up over a course of the entire project really make a big difference in the outcome of the vehicle so i'm putting a second coat of the yellow on like i said and then I'll just detail some of that with some silver after, just to hit the, the straps and stuff like that. Um, I'm also going to take a sip of coffee. <laughs> I'm going to do a little uh, little black on the belt for the motor, which was my final detail, just to, to give it a little bit more realism. And then um, I'll hit it again with some more um, null oil just to uh, darken things up after. So here is... Zandri dust and I've used this in some of my other videos and this stuff with the dry brush effect really does have a sand look to it and I, and I love the way it comes out and so I did the body first before I put the wheels on just so I could get inside the wheel wells and underneath the fender flares uh, with the wheels on and everything it's just real difficult to get in there and I didn't want to overdo it so I'm not using a huge brush this time I'm just using a small one um, here I am uh, as I discussed, putting the null oil, null oil, wow, <laughs> back on the motor, and I'll hit the uh, the barrel as as well, just to uh, knock the yellow down a little bit, and then I hit the windows one more time, just to just to make the shade a little bit different than the rest of the vehicle. So at this point, I'm just about done, and uh, I just have some final details of gluing back together, and uh, this really came out really good. But the whole point here is to Oh, here's some, I forgot about this, the uh, Blood for the Blood God paint. Um, whenever you want to add a little blood, this stuff is perfect. Put a little bit on your brush, flick it with your finger, and uh, it gives a nice good blood splatter look. Uh, you probably can't see from the video, but I got some pictures that I'll show up later. Um, and then once I put the wheels on, um, I'll go back and I'll do the Xandri dust one more time just to give it that, that look. Otherwise, the wheels will be... Um, way too shiny and I did flat black them as well so um, worked out good because you make sure you get the axles and stuff like that anything shiny you really don't want or at least I didn't want on this project so but in in, in all actuality the the Citadel paints if watered down with distilled water really work well in an airbrush and here's the last step it's um sterling mud and it's actually a textured paint from Citadel and I put this around all the wheel wells and everything else, and it just really gives it that, that final look. And it has a clumpy feel to it, but it's almost to scale, so it's perfect. So if you guys thought this video was fairly interesting, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, comment. Um, if there's other projects you want to see me do, hit me up, let me know, and I'll catch you on the next one.